Shalom, welcome to Tech Food Torah. I am Keith Hayes, and we are on day 68 of Read the Bible in a Year, reading Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 29. Uh, yeah, let's just get started. And it shall be if you diligently obey the voice of of Yahweh your Elohim to guard to do all his commands which I command you today that Yahweh your Elohim shall set you high above all the nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of Yahweh your Elohim blessed are you in the city and blessed are you in the field blessed are you blessed is the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your livestock the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flocks. Blessed is your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed are you when you come in and blessed are you when you go out. Yahuwah curses your enemies who rise against you to be smitten before your face and they come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. Yahuwah commands the blessings on you in your storehouses and and all to which you set your hand, and shall bless you in the land which Yahweh your Elohim is giving you. Yahweh does establish you as a set-apart people to himself, as he has sworn to you if you guard the commands of Yahweh your Elohim and walk in his ways. And all the peoples of the earth shall, shall see that the name of Yahweh is called upon you, and they shall be afraid of you. And Yahuwah shall make you to have plenty of what is good in the fruit of your body and the fruit of your livestock and the fruit of your ground and the land which Yahuwah swore to your fathers to give you. <laughs> Yahuwah opens to you his good treasure, the heavens to give the rain in your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand and you shall lend to many nations, but you do not borrow. And Yahweh shall make you the head and not the tail, and you shall be only on top and not beneath. If you obey the commands of Yahweh your Elohim, which I command you today to guard and do. And do not turn aside from any of the words which I am commanding you today, right or left, to go after other mighty ones to serve them. And it shall be if you do not obey the voice of Yahweh your Elohim to guard to do all his commands and his laws which I command you today that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Cursed are you in the city and cursed are you in the field. Cursed is, is your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed is the fruit of your body and the fruit of your land and the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flocks. Cursed are you when you come in, and cursed are you when you go out. Yahweh sends on you a curse, the confusion and the rebuke and all that you set your hand to until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because you have, because of the evil of your doings by which you have forsaken me. Yahuwah makes the plague cling to you until he has consumed you from the land which you are going to possess. Yahuwah strikes you with wasting disease and with inflammation and burning and extreme heat and with the sword and with blight and with mildew. And they shall pursue you until you perish. And your heavens which are over your head shall be bronze and the earth which is under is iron. Yahweh makes the rain of your land uh, powder and dust. From the heavens it comes down on you until you are destroyed. Yahweh causes you to be defeated before your enemies. You go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them, and you shall become a horror to all the rains of the earth. And your carcasses shall be food. For all the birds of the heavens and the beasts of the earth, and uh, with, with no one to frighten them away. Yahweh shall strike you with all the boils of Mitzrayim and tumors, and with the scab and with the itch from which you are unable to be healed. 
Yahweh shall strike you with the madness and blindness and bewilderment of heart, and you shall be groping at noon as a blind man gropes in darkness, and not prosper in your ways. And you shall be only oppressed and plundered all the days with no one to save you. You become engaged to a wife, but another man does lie with her. You build a house, but you do not dwell in it. You plant a vineyard, but you do not use its fruits. Your ox is slaughtered before your eyes, <clears throat> but you do not eat of it. Your donkey is violently taken from before you, and it is not given back to you. Your sheep are given to your enemies with no one to save them. Your sons and your daughters are given to another people, and your eyes look and fail for them all day long, and your hand powerless. A people whom you have not known eat the fruit of your land and all the labors, all your labors. And you shall be only oppressed and crushed all the days. And you shall be maddened because of the sight which your eyes see. Yahweh strikes you in the knees and on your legs with evil boils, which you were unable to be healed, and from the sole of your foot to the top of your head. Yahweh brings you and the sovereign whom you set over your over you to a nation which neither you or your, your fathers have known. And there you shall serve other mighty ones, wood and stone. Thus you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a mockery among all the peoples which Yahweh drives you. You take much seed out into the field, but gather little in, for the locust consumes it. You plant vineyards and shall labor, but neither drink of the wine nor gather, for the worm eats it. You have olive trees in all your border, but do not anoint with oil, for your olives drop off. You bring forth sons and daughters, and they are not with you, for they go into captivity. Locusts possess all your trees and the fruit of your ground. The sojourner who is among you rises higher and higher above you, but you come down lower and lower. He lends to you, but you do not lend to him. He is the head, and you are the tail. All these curses shall come upon you, and they shall pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you did not obey the voice of Yahweh your Elohim to guard his commands and his laws which he commanded you. And they shall be upon you for a sign, for a wonder, and on your seed forever, because you did not serve Yahweh your Elohim with joy and gladness of heart for all the plenty. You shall serve your enemies whom Yahweh sends you. <coughs> you shall serve your enemies whom Yahweh sends against you in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in need of all. And he shall put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. Yahweh shall bring a nation against you from afar, from the end of the earth, as, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose language you shall not understand, a fierce-looking nation, which shall show no regard for the elderly, nor show favor to the young. And they shall eat the fruit of your livestock and the fruit of your land until you are destroyed. They leave you no grain nor new wine, nor oil, nor the increase of your cattle of the offspring of your flocks until they have destroyed you. And they shall besiege you at all your ways and your gates till, you, till, your, uh, till your high and fenced walls in which you were trusting come down in all your land, and they shall besiege you at all your gates and all your land which Yahweh your Elohim has given you. And you shall eat the fruit of your own body, the flesh of your sons of your, and your daughters, whom Yahweh your Elohim has given you, in the siege and distress in which your enemies distress you. <laughs> the man among you who is tender and who is very delicate, his eye 
is evil against his brother, against the wife of his bosom, and against the rest <coughs> of his children whom he leaves behind, against giving any of the flesh of his children that he eats because it is all that has been left to him in the siege and distress with which your enemy distresses you in all your gates. The tender and the delicate woman among you who has not tried to set the sole of her foot on the ground because of her delicateness and tenderness, her eye is evil against the husband of her bosom and against her son and against her daughter and against her seed which comes out from, bef from between her feet and her children whom she bears for she eats them in secret for lack of all. And the siege and distress with which your enemy distresses you and all your gates, if you do not guard to do all the words of this Torah that are written in this book, to fear this esteemed and awesome name, Yahweh your Elohim, then Yahweh shall bring upon you and your descendants extraordinary plagues, great and lasting plagues, and grievous and lasting sickness. And he shall bring back on you all the diseases of Mitzrayim, of which you are afraid, and they shall cling to you. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this Torah, Yahuwah does bring upon you until you are destroyed. And you shall be left with few men, although you had become as numerous as the stars of heavens, because you did not obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim. And it shall be that as Yahuwah has rejoiced over you to do you good and increase you, so that Yahuwah does rejoice over you and rejoice over you to destroy you and lay you waste. And you shall be plucked from off the land which you go to possess. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among all the peoples from one end of the earth to the other. And there you shall serve other mighty ones, which neither you nor your fathers have known, wood and stone. And among those nations you are to find no rest, nor have a resting place for the sole of your foot. But there Yahweh shall give you a trembling heart, and failing eyes, and sorrow of being. And your life shall be hanging in suspense before you, and you shall fear night and day, and not be certain of your life. In the morning you say, Oh, that it were evening. And at evening you say, Oh, that it were the morning. Because of the fear of your heart with which you fear, and because of the sight which your eyes see. And Yahweh shall bring you back to Mitzrayim in ships by, by a way of which I said to you, You are never to see again. And there you shall be sold to your enemies as male and female slaves, but no one to buy. Chapter 29. These are the words of the covenant which Yahuwah commanded Moshe to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab besides the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. And Moshe called Israel and said to them, You yourselves saw all that Yahuwah did before your eyes in the land of Mitzrayim, to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land. Your eyes saw the great trials and the signs and the <coughs> excuse me, those great wonders. But Yahuwah did not give you a heart to know and eyes to see and ears to hear till this day. And I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your garments have not worn out on you, and your sandals have not worn out on your feet. You ate no bread and drank no wine nor strong drink, so that you might know that I am Yahweh your Elohim. And when you came, to this place, Sihon, sovereign of Heshbon, and Og, sovereign of Bashan, came out against us to <coughs> excuse me. They came out against us to battle, and we struck them, 
and took their land and gave it as an inheritance to the Reubenites and to the Gadites and half the tribe of Manasseh. Therefore you shall guard the words of this covenant and do them, so that you prosper in all that you do. All of you are standing today before Yahweh your Elohim, your leaders, your tribe leaders, your tribes, your elders, your officers, and all the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, your sojourner who is in the midst of your camp, from the one who cuts your wood to the one who draws your water. So that you should enter into covenant with Yahweh your Elohim and into his oath which Yahweh your Elohim makes with you today in order to establish you today as people for himself and he himself be your Elohim as, as he has spoken to you and as he has sworn to your fathers to Abraham to Isaac and to Jacob and not with you alone I am make, making this covenant and this oath but with him who stands here with us today, Yahuwah our Elohim, as well as with him who is not here with us today. <laughs> For you know how we dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim, and how we passed through the nations which you passed through, and you saw their abominations and their idols, and wood and stone and silver and gold which were with them. Lest there should be among you a man or a woman or clan or tribe whose heart turns away from Yahuwah your Elohim, to go and serve other mighty ones of these nations, lest there should be among you a root-bearing bitterness or wormwood. The idea being adultery. And it shall be, verse 19, And it shall be when he hears the words of this curse, that he should bless himself in his heart, saying, I have peace, though I walk in stubbornness of my heart, in order to add drunkenness to thirst. Yahweh would not forgive him, but rather the displeasure of Yahweh and his jealousy shall burn against that man, and every curse that is written in this book shall settle on him, and Yahweh shall blot out his name from under the heavens. And Yahweh shall separate him for evil out of all the tribes of Israel, according to all the curses of the covenant that are written in this book of the Torah. <coughs> and, the, and the generation to come of your children who rise up after you, and the foreigner who comes from a far land, and shall say, when they see the plagues of the land and the sickness which Yahweh has sent to it, all its land is sulfur, salt, burning. It is not sown, nor does it bear, nor does it grow any grass there. Like the overthrow of Saddam and Amora, Adma and Sebu Seboim, which Yahuwah overthrew in his displeasure and his wrath. And all the nations shall say, Why has Yahuwah done so to this land? What does the heat of this great displeasure mean? And it shall be said, Because they have forsaken the covenant of Yahuwah, their Elohim of their fathers, which, Yah which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim. And they went and served other mighty ones and bowed themselves to them. Mighty ones they did not know, and that he did, he had not given to them. Therefore the displeasure of Yahuwah burned against this land to bring on it every curse that is written in this book. And Yahuwah uprooted from their land in displeasure, and in wrath, and in rage, and cast them into another land, as it is today. The secret matters belong to Yahuwah our Elohim, but what is revealed belongs to us and to our children forever to do all the words of this Torah. Alright, that's 28 and 29. Shalom.